Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the performance differences between the previous April Creators update and the new Fall Creators update which was released just two days ago. For anybody interested, my PC specs are listed below in the description and all the graphics packs I will have used will also be listed below. All testing was carried out on freshly recompiled shader caches each time in order to eliminate potential performance bottlenecks. In our first scene we arrive at Kakariko village and as you can already see on the right hand side the new fall creators update is already offering us better performance in this scenario. The most important figure however to us as users is the minimum FPS number and as we can see it is holding up quite well using the newest latest windows update. It must also be noted that game mode is turned off in both of these comparisons. I will be doing further testing on windows game mode in the new fall update in the near future. In the Kakariko test scenario we have to give the win to the new fall update for performance. Let's transition on over to the Hitano ruins. This area in particular is synonymous with being one of the most grueling performance areas in the game. This is due to the large amount of enemies in such a small area. As we can see on screen, the performance overall goes to the new fall update. Even though we are about to see a slight drop in FPS, we need to remember that it is the minimum overall FPS that we need to be worried about. And as we have seen on screen throughout this test, the new fall update offers us the best and highest minimum FPS. In this next testing area, I decided to go back to the very first area we encounter as players in the area, the Shrine of Resurrection. As we can once again see on screen, not only are we getting much, much higher minimum FPS, we are also getting a much higher maximum. Once again, the performance crown goes to the new Fall Creators update. For the final part of our testing, we are moving over to Hateno Village. Once again, this is one of the most grueling performance areas, offering us some of the lowest FPS we will see when playing Breath of the Wild using CMU Emulator. Similarly to all previous performance testing areas, we are also seeing higher minimums and higher maximum FPS using the new Fall Creators update in comparison to the older April Creators update. I think as a whole, we can give the entire performance prize to the new Fall Creators update. It offers us not only the highest minimum FPS numbers, but also much higher maximum FPS in-game. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found it useful. I will be doing further performance testing using this fall update and testing indeed into game mode using my 2600k, 8GB of RAM and GTX 680 2GB system in the coming days, so keep an eye out for that. As always, remember to like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.